Good day. Welcome to our heavenly space. Take the load off. You know the burden brick you have been carrying? Lay it here. Allow us to fill you with peace you are needing and help equip you to maneuver through this physical world and help you to fill your pages in your book in your life which God gave to each one of you. You know the man you see stretched out on crosses? His name is Jesus Christ. He is God, the creators of the world's beloved Son. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ fought for our life by paying our sin debt in full by dying on the cross. Yes, Jesus Christ died for you. Yes, for you and I and your family. You are truly loved. Not sure if you knew that. Today's category is a poem titled, A Time For. We are borrowed on this earth for only a certain length of time. And it's sad to say goodbye to someone we love, especially when they are in their prime. There's a time to love, a time to put be gentle like a dove, a time to sing, and a time to give and slide on that ring, a time to dance, a time to take a second glance, a time to laugh, a time to sit down and pour the coffee from the carafe, a time to listen, a time for the snow to fall and glisten, a time to be a friend and lay down your life to the end, a time to cry, a time to help your son with his tie, a time to sleep, a time to clean out the cobwebs so deep, a time to sew, a time to pick up a dried dandelion to blow, a time to make a wish and kiss your lover like a fish, a time to eat cake, not the whole thing, because then it will be a mistake, because then you'll be upset you gain the weight. A time to have fun and a time to eat a warm toasty bun. A time to ask for help. Jesus will always be there to hear and tend to your yelp. Now let's go and dial God. How? We begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, help remind us of your love and provide us with your love as well. Increase our faith and hope. Provide us with the food we need for today, along with health and strength. Provide us wisdom, which we ask in faith, and provide us with everything we will need to get through today. Amen. Today we recite Psalm 91, 1 to 16. Psalm 91. 1 to 16. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. 
His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Jesus, tend to all, all our prayers. Jesus, we also ask that you tend to all the prayers of our listeners and viewers of your holy people. We place all these prayers and requested blessings in your hands, Jesus. We ask this through Jesus' broken body, through Jesus' bloodshed, in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. We ask that all listeners and viewers Go to part two, a time four, where we are now in the session of finding out what God is telling us through his instruction book of life, the Bible.